Summit. We're leaving town. Baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Dr. Tom Walsh because the Senior Summit's coming up May 18th out at the 4-H Fairgrounds from 9 to 2. Um, and there'll be a lot of vendors out there, which they'll have a table for Maryland Primary Care. And you'll have all kinds of demonstrations going on and activities, and there's food that you can buy, but we wanted to talk to him specifically about their table that they're going to have. Well, so thank you for coming in to well, us. Well, thanks for asking me. Yeah. Now, um, do you know what you're going to have at your table when you're out there? Well, usually um, me, our office manager, and a uh, staff member from the office show up. And actually, they're in the process of planning some kind of goodie bag. They do okay. that every year. And uh, they'll put some stuff together that's health-related but useful for the uh, attendants that get as a little free gift right. at our table. And, you know, we want to attract them over so we can talk to them. And um, I don't get to be part of that little goodie bag planning thing, but I know it's in the works. So right. we'll, have, we'll have something good this year. Well, you're probably busy with patients yeah, and I, that kind of thing. They give me other <laughs> jobs here, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. So, so if um, someone wants to get information about your office, where are you located? So we're located at um, the Nesbitt Road exit, right um, off of Route 50, right where the uh, Queen Anne's Emergency Room Center is. Mm -hmm. Next to the Queen Anne's Emergency Room Center, there's a medical office building, and we're on the first floor of that building. And we've been there for four or five years now. And uh, there's a, a lot of other specialists in that building, but we take up a big space on the downstairs part, and, um, and we do you know primary care. Upstairs is mainly specialists and the specialists mostly related to the shore health systems, urologists and neurologists and a bunch of other people, cardiologists and so on. But we do the primary care thing. So do you take all age groups we in do. your office? Um, we have people in our office every day from newborns to 100 years old or more. Okay. And, uh, uh, and all of the doctors, not all of us, most of the doctors in there are trained in family medicine. Uh, one of our nurse practitioners and one of our uh, physicians uh, only see adults, but the rest of us see children all the way up to geriatric and the 100-year-old people. And you're taking new patients. And we do. We take new patients. We, um, we try to encourage, um, or, or what I should say is we have extended office hours because we understand that people who work, it's sometimes hard for them to come in during traditional office hours. Right. So we have people there at 7 in the morning. I'm not one of them, but um, we have people there at 7 in the morning and we're open till 8 o'clock at night, four nights a week, and we're open on Saturdays. So we're really trying to accommodate people and we, and we are taking new people. And You know, usually we get one person in the family, then somebody else says, hey, they're, they're there and they're yeah. available, so we get the yeah. rest of them. And, and, you know, we enjoy having the entire family there. And... Um, so, but getting back to the um, senior summit, if you don't mind, I gotta oh, just go put right in ahead. a little plug for that because um, my office manager asked me four or five years ago if I'd like to attend with her, and you know I was thinking, why would I want to do that, you know? But um, I went and I had a great time. Oh yeah, it's really fun. And so, who's ever watching this um, segment, they should know that it's a really fun day. There's a lot of vendors there with lots of information. And, um, and of course, there's all the little goodies you get from each one of them. But, you know, um, there's audiologists there, um, insurance people there, medical practices like mine. There's a dermatology practice that shows up every year. And then we get to see the old cars. Right. Um, people bring antique cars, and there's a nice lunch. And it's a really fun day, especially if it's a nice day. Right, you know? right. Just getting out and being social. It is, Because yeah. that's the one thing we want people not to just be in their home and watch us on TV. Oh, yeah. But to get out and socialize. you got to get out and go to it. It's, right. it's really fun. Make the effort to... Well, that's you know, why I wore the hat. Yeah, You know, right. because they always have a theme. So this year it's going to be the hoedown. Oh, so, I didn't realize that they had yeah, a theme this, this year. Yeah. Um, but it's really fun. And um, I, one of the things that's really fun for me is I run into so many of the people who are patients of mine, uh -huh. and it's fun for them to see me in a different context. Right. You know, I'm not there with a stethoscope and asking them and personal questions. And they're not questions. feeling bad. And yeah, and they're, not, and they're not sick, and it's just a really nice event in, you know, in that respect. And actually, I take some time 
when I'm there to, to do a little walkthrough, and and I uh, pick up some tips from you know from the other vendors and and uh, get to see some nice things and bring home a few treats myself, you know. Well, it's there's a lot of different programs out there and things available that people may not know about, and that's what I like that. Because I know when I retired, I told my husband, I didn't realize this was offered, exactly, you know? Yeah. So it, it educates people on, on things that m they might have access to. Uh, on what's out there, yeah. Yeah. And, and actually, in, in that same way, it educates me what's right. out there, you know what I mean? So I get to see what other people are doing and other hospital systems are there. And, um, well, tell us about your information. Um, if someone doesn't come to the summit and they want to get an appointment, um, number to call? Oh, sure. Or, um, so, like I said, we're there six days a week, you know, half day on Saturday, and uh, they would just call our office number, 410-827-4001, Okay. We also have a website, mpcp.com. That stands for Maryland Primary Care Physicians.com. A lot of information about our practice and little biographies about our providers, me and the rest of the providers, are on that website and information about how to access different things in our office. Um, but um, probably the easiest way to get in is just to call. Okay. And uh, the, again, that's 410-827-4001. And, um, and, you know, we pretty much have availability. We, we, we sort of pride ourselves on being available. So we try to keep spots open for people who are sick, same day people, and you know, same day appointments. And uh, so we pretty much have availability for people to come like right now if they needed to. Right. We also, um, that's another thing that just made me think of it. Um, we also um, realize that, you know, people get sick and want to be seen right now. And that's a big trend now is to oh, have yeah, urgent care. Yeah. You know, all these different urgent care clinics and all that, which are great. You know, they're help, especially helpful for working people. but. And we realize that, and so we've made an effort to be available for same-day appointments. Right. So, um, and, and we like to do that because, you know, we don't want to lose the continuity with our patients. So we don't want people to be seeing us for most of their care but have to go somewhere else because they happen to be sick that day. So we, we uh, have sort of revised our schedule to keep openings for people who say, hey, I got the flu, I got to be seen today. Well, and that's who knows you. I mean, yeah. you have the file on the patient, right. and if they're going to a clinic because they can't get into right. their regular doctor's office. I mean, is communication yeah. consistent? Would they, they don't really know you yeah. like you know them exactly. because you're their primary physician. Exactly. It's not ideal. I mean, I understand why people do it. Yeah. And sometimes it's a geographic thing. You know, somebody who works in Crofton doesn't want to drive all the way back to Queenstown for right. a doctor's appointment. but. But a lot of it's just because they need to get in the same day. And so we're working really hard to accommodate people for same day appointments. And uh, It's and hard to do if someone gets sick Sunday though. Yeah. And I know that's happened to my grandson and my daughters had to go take him because right. you know, he's little and you don't want him yeah. with a fever for 24 hours yeah. not being seen. And, you know, being sick is scary, you know, so you don't want to have to wait too long. Right. You know, so. Uh, well, and seniors dehydrate quickly just right. like Little ones do, right? Because I know that's a problem my mother had. I'm whenever we go place, I'm always saying, "Do you have a drink?" Right. Because she takes little sips. Yeah, no, she doesn't she, realize she's thirsty. Yeah. yeah. One of the other things that we've been working hard on um, over the last uh, few months is to, um, and this is kind of a national effort uh, in primary care, is to do a little health assessment on our seniors to to stop once a year and ask them all the questions that we haven't asked, you know, because you get busy in the course of um, regular office visits, but sometimes it's good to just stop and ask people about, you know, is their home safe? Are they depressed? Are they eating well? And are they up to date on their immunizations, you know, flu shots and shingles vaccine and pneumonia shots and all that stuff. So we've made an effort, and I think for people who come to our office, they'll hear that, the seniors will especially, right. um, that we're, we're making an effort to stop and make sure we ask those questions because they can slip through the cracks and we don't want that to happen just because we're busy. I mean, all of us are busy, not just us, but right. people have busy right. lives. So when do they suggest that you start something like a pneumonia shot or a shingle shot? Because I know they suggest 
shingle shots if you've had the chicken pox because you carry the virus. Is exactly, that correct? Exactly, right. So shingles vaccine, interestingly, there's a brand new shingles vaccine. The initial shingles vaccine that came out, oh, five or six years ago, maybe longer, time goes by fast, um, was a good vaccine, but it really only protected people, about 70% of the people protected them against shingles. A new vaccine came out, it was just released in the past few months. Mm -hmm. it, requ uh, it requires two shots rather than one. So you get, you get a shot, then you go back two months later and get the second one, but it's far more effective. So, you know, Anybody who's had chickenpox as a child has the chickenpox virus in them and, right. and is susceptible to shingles. So most of the time that vaccine is recommended for people, uh, different, different uh, groups recommend different okay. ages, but mostly around 50, 55 years old, people should start thinking about shingles vaccine. Okay. And then there's a pneumonia vaccine. It's, um, actually, there's a couple pneumonia vaccines, <clears throat> and they're very effective. Um, and depending on your health status, uh, um, some of those are recommended for people over 65, but if you have other medical conditions that would like predispose breathing, you, like breathing added, problems, you have COPD, yeah. asthma, um, other diabetes, other conditions that would predispose you to getting, getting sick quicker and, and worse, um, we give those vaccines a little earlier. Okay. So, um, you know, people think of uh, vaccines for children. Right. They don't think of vaccines for grown-ups, And then just regular vaccines like, um, like tetanus vaccines, you know, people sort of forget about as they get older, but you know, we can, yeah. we can still get exposed to that stuff. And then every year, um, you know, we try to get as many people vaccinated against the flu as we can. Right. Um, because even though it seems like you hear in the news that flu vaccine wasn't effective this year, I still think it's helping. And, uh, and I certainly am a big oh, believer. It's, when it's offered at the <clears throat> health department and they have free clinics like they do, right. it, it just, it seems a shame for people not to take advantage of so it. So there's all these things people can do to keep themselves well. Right. And that's, um, like I said, that's part of what we're trying to do in our practice. Right. Not just see people when they're sick, but try right. to keep them from getting sick. Prevention. Yeah, exactly. And we have a lot of fun doing it too. Oh yeah, that's, that's yeah. the thing. You, you make it enjoyable. Right. So. so we have long standing relationships with people in, in our practice, you know, we've been, I originally started my practice in, um, in Anne Arundel County, but just a few years into practice, I, I uh, opened an office on Ken Island, and that was uh, 1988. So what are we talking, like 30 years ago. So mm -hmm. we've had um, generations of people now that we've seen. It's really fun sometimes to see families where, where there's four generations in the family. You know, there's the great-grandmother, the grandmother, the parent, and the child, and uh, we have a lot of those. And, oh yeah, and it's fun. Yeah, and plus, you know, I did the same thing with teaching. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, when I taught for thirty years, I was teaching grandkids, and yeah, uh, yeah I know your family. And in a community <laughs> like we have here in Queen Anne's County, um, you know, you I get you eventually get to know all the connections. Oh, you're so and so's aunt, mm -hmm. or, or whatever. And it, it, that's really fun too. And um, you know, so sometimes when I'm in the grocery store, I run into people, and I. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to remember what uh -huh. all the connections Where are. Where do I know them from? Yeah, but, it's, but it is fun to, you know, to, um, to make the connections and realize who's who. And it's, it's, you know, it's wonderful to practice around here. I, you know, I've enjoyed it for a long time. Yeah. So We, we live in a good place. We do. It's, it's a great place. And, um, and this, you know, like this Senior Summit is just a great opportunity for um, seniors. And you don't have to be, you know, a really, really old person. In fact, I was telling one of my office staff that today... She said, what's the Senior Summit? And I said, well, it's a, it's a you know, like a kind of an outing where people, older people can go. A fair. And she, yeah. she said to me, are they sending you because you're the old doctor? <laughs> and I said, well, that's funny that you said that. I said, um, um, I'm starting to be older than some of the people that show up. So I guess, yeah, maybe that's true. But, you know, it's well, great. Well, when, when we first started went going out there and filming, yeah. I was still watching my granddaughter. And... Right. I know she was out there pushing yeah. the stroller around. So they're, they're all age groups that come out there because you can gather information. Yeah. And, and that's the main thing. And that's a really good point. I have seen um, people there who are not seniors, but right. they're there looking for resources for their senior yes. family members. Yes. So it's not just about, you don't have to be old to go no. to the Senior Summit. Nope. I've seen... Um, you know, people in their 30s and 40s with little kids with them, just like I said, looking for resources for their parents yep. or their or grandparents or whatever. 
just totally. to see what's available. And, and some of the vendors that are there may not just be located here in our county, right? but it's not far away and you can right. get the information. Yeah, and, and so many of our medical providers on the Kent Island, Queen Anne's County kind of area do have offices in Annapolis as yes. well. And, and the Kent Island or is, Easton. Is, yeah, or Easton, right. So um, sometimes their office in Queen Anne's County is, is one of their other offices. Right. But, Right, yeah, but uh, you know, we, we, compared to when I first started thirty years ago, we have a lot of really good medical resources around here now. I mean, back yeah. in, back in nineteen eighty eight, you know, we were like kind of the Lone Ranger out here, you know. But it's gotten way better, and it's nice to be able to share that information with people. Well, and I I think they've kind of combined together. Yeah. so that your medical building houses a lot of different facilities. That was a really good move, you know, to um, find kind of a location where we can put a bunch right. of different medical special specialists in one place. And, you know, I can... And sometimes County Ride can give them a ride there. Yeah, we, and that'll help with transportation. Exactly. We have a lot of people who show up with County Ride. Right. And, uh, and then they sometimes can go from, like if somebody comes in and they need blood work or or an x-ray, it all happens within that building. So right. they kind of do their one-stop shopping and <laughs> yeah. hopefully we, they leave feeling a little bit better or at least right. are on the path to getting better. So um, we enjoy what we do. Well, we're glad that you're gonna be a vendor out there and hopefully we'll see you there. And I'm excited and as you know, I'm gonna sneak out for a few minutes to see those old cars. cars. Yeah. yeah, That's one of my favorite parts about this. I'm, I'm praying for good weather yeah. so that, you know, we'll, we'll have the cars show up. Yeah, that'll be great. Well, thank you for oh. coming out, and oh, sure. this we'll is look, fun. look for you there. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Yeah, so show up. You'll have a good time. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yes. <laughs> Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. At, at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Park. Woo!